back everybody I'm your host Kelly Sparks hey, hey. Red Beard. so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, knock out this final review of Elijah Craig 12 year batch B518 so I do have uh, B19 and C19 here locally that I'll probably go pick up pretty soon I left myself a good taste <laughs> and uh, I really want to go get that C19 because it was like 136 proof this one's 133 I'm not really looking forward to uh, B519 uh, because it's a 122 I heard it was a eh but I don't like to take people's word for it I don't try not to try not to let somebody else's opinion sway me so this one it's just a freaking solid bourbon and now we actually we're we're pretty much keeping them stocked on the shelf at all times I think we had been here locally in our warehouse for the big liquor store chain they've had uh, I think they've been sitting on just cases and cases and cases of this stuff and just haven't been putting it out but every once in a while Got some heat in the back of the throat on this one. Forgot about it. Because I had polished it down to pretty pretty low levels. And then just sat it back there on the back of the shelf. Collecting dust. And I got the uh, C918 that I'm going to do as well. I was going to do both of them, but eh, might as well get a little extra content. You never know. I mean, whatever. And I almost, I was this close to uh, cracking open my 2018 William LaRue Weller and doing a video of it tonight, but I decided to go ahead and knock this one out. I almost, I almost went to the store earlier. This was almost an uncorking of the uh, C9, not, yeah, C919. But I opted to do this. Wait to go get them. They're not going anywhere. That's just good tasting bourbon. That's all that is. I might have to do a... Uh, I still got a little bit... No, y'all... Y'all hadn't seen that video yet. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, it's a secret. I forgot I haven't posted it. What, Bonnie? Yeah, this was just a really good bourbon. Elijah Craig in general, much like Booker's Wild Turkey Rare Breed. And I know the Elijah Craig changes from batch to batch. Booker's changes from batch to batch, whereas Wild Turkey Rare Breed that's pretty much going to stay constant until they do another rare breed version because I know every one of their batches they change they, they've changed in proof like the previous one was 112 and the current one is uh, 116 so I think that's right Hey everybody, look who it is. What's up, Bonnie? So, we've uh, got a, a a bit of a mice per mouse problem, like field rats, field mice, something. Got a bit of a mouse problem here at the homestead. And uh, I've been on a killing spree here lately of mice and rats. I think they're just big mice. I don't know. One of them, this one fucker, so, funny story. 
It was, uh, it was yeah, yesterday, two days ago. So I took some sticky traps and I found out they, they're coming in through a spot in the ceiling in the laundry room. And like part of the duct work is hanging down so they come out of the attic, jump on, what, what? Come jump onto the duct and then jump onto the hot water heater and then crawl around and root around and shit. Well, I took some sticky traps and I put them up on top of this, the little ledge that's attached to the duct. Put two of them up there because there's like a little water line or something coming down from the wall. So they jump onto the water line and crawl down it. Pretty ingenious little bastards. So put the sticky traps up there on this ledge so they come out of the ceiling and the big one the biggest one I've seen is probably its body the size of my fist maybe a little smaller probably, yeah probably a little smaller just a little bit so he jumps out of the attic onto the duct hits the sticky traps and it's stuck to like his asshole and tail and falls off the well I can only assume he fell but he made his way to the floor and he kind of got wedged. He was trying to get behind the uh, the dryer, the washer and dryer. Well, the sticky trap, it's like here's here's the wall right here. The sticky trap was holding him. He couldn't, couldn't get any further behind the dryer because of the sticky trap. So I'm like, you little fat bastard, I got you now. So I grabbed some pliers. I didn't want to grab it with my hands. I didn't have any gloves handy. Grab some pliers, reach down there, and I was trying to grab the sticky trap. So I grabbed it by the tail and the sticky trap, and I go to lift it up, and that little bastard starts to come back up to my hand and get me. Right? He was going to get me. Probably got some diseases and shit. I didn't want him to bite me. So as soon as I saw him do that, I just went, <laughs> started beating the absolute shit out of this little bastard up against the wall. Well, I I ended up knocking him out. He was slightly concussed, but I also ripped ripped pretty much whatever was stuck to the trap. I ripped it off. So his like tail slash asshole was ripped off. Body was there on the ground, and he was out cold. I thought I killed him. Well, I go to reach down and grab him with the pliers again. I didn't want to get him with my hands. Whatever. Reached down and grabbed him with the pliers again. That sucker come to life. Took off running behind the the dryer, and I just leaped and leapt into action and tried to stomp the shit out of him. Just, ha, 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 ha. I missed him. He got away. So I don't know if he's alive or dead, but if he is alive, he's fucking pissed off. So I got my got my heart racing. I felt like I was in a battle against a six ounce animal. Oh man, yeah. Anyway, Elijah Craig. Yeah, I think the mice, they're not, it's not like we're infested. I think there's probably like two or three left. Three or four, I don't know. At least three. They sound like there's three of them in the attic. Of course, it could be squirrels. Well, the little bastards. They've attracted owls. So we've had owls hanging out in the backyard. So hopefully one of them owls will get a couple of them. That'd be pretty awesome. But I'm putting out sticky traps and other stuff. Hey, come here. Hey, buddy. She's back. We're going to go outside, smoke a cigar. I got to cook up some more meat. And we'll drink some more whiskey. We're going to chill out, literally and figuratively. What is it, Barney? So, that's all I got. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, 12 year old. It's good juice. And I really don't think you can go wrong with any, any batch. Just like the Bookers, I think they're all going to be high up there on par with what they should be. What is it, girl? What is it? Hmm? Burr, burr, burr. She's like, Daddy, don't talk to me like that. Would. 
All right, that's all I got. Um, I'll probably do the other Elijah Craig. What is it? I got it right there. C919 or C918 next week. Go ahead and finish it off. But don't forget, check the description below. I'm still waiting on the promo code for my Tattered Beans link. Uh, so order some coffee from them. Anybody. I mean, veteran, first responder. Order it. Just place an order. It's going to help somebody out. Um, there's Tattered Beans or Teesprings down there. You can order some shirts from me. Those are pretty cool. Also, Patreon, if you want to get in on some giveaways and some special deals that I've got for patrons only, go uh, sign up at patreon.com forward slash Kelly Redbeard Sparks, and you will have a chance to get some cool stuff. And uh, don't forget, check out the Bearded Idiots. We will be recording again, what's today? Tonight. Yeah, we'll be recording again tonight. Well, when you all are watching it, it'll be tonight. Like always, drink some whiskey, share with your friends and family, be safe, don't drink and drive, take care of your fellow man, be kind to your neighbors and your friends and animals, and except for rats, kill rats, kill rats and mice. That's something else that kind of got me. We've been programmed to sympathize with vermin our entire lives. Tom and Jerry, we always rooted for Jerry, even though he was the freaking mouse. He was the mouse in the house. We always rooted for Jerry. Tom was just trying to do his job and get the rats out of the damn house. But no. He was vilified. Fievel goes west, bunch of rats there. You vilify the cat. Cat's just trying to clean up the vermin. Anyway, I'm off my soapbox. Y'all have a good night. Take care.